Arika Misha and today I'm in the kitchen doing what I do best cooking it up well today we'll be doing some baking and I'm all excited in case y'all can hear it in my voice I am excited as y'all can see I have my new pink blender out if you guys follow me on Instagram make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Arika Misha following me on Instagram guys make sure you go follow me um, if you guys uh, follow me on Instagram you will see that I did get this um, pink blender for my birthday shouts out to my friend Izzy shouts out to my girl she got me this for my birthday thank you so much and God bless you and family so um yes let me give y'all a little spin around spin around you know in case y'all don't follow me on Instagram yes Ooh, look at that pink blender yes it's blinking it's plugged up and it's ready so let's get into what we're gonna be baking today because we will be baking all right let me get it back here we will be baking the Betty Crocker muffin tops and I did get it in the chocolate chip uh, I forgot what other flavors they had let me see it's not on the box but anyway I forgot what other flavors they had but today we'll be doing the chocolate chips uh, Betty Crocker only thing you need one fourth cup of water one fourth cup of vegetable oil and one egg easy quick and easy and from reading the directions preheat my oven to 400 oh shucks I gotta preheat my oven oh lord I was so busy setting up I forgot to preheat my oven all right anyway the oven is getting all preheated y'all quick and easy I'm gonna dump everything in together with the mix um, make a batter and then I'm just gonna make little little balls from what it's saying it Says drop batter by round tablespoons about two inches apart on cooking sheet. That's it I mean easy. It's gonna be pretty much like we baking cookies pretty much. So anyway, I'm excited So let's get the bacon. I gotta get my um Cookie sheets out too. Whatever. I'll get those out later. I am going to be cooking both boxes so of course I'll have to double the ingredients so I will be ready to do that uh oh all right what we got here oh oh yeah it says something about okay round tablespoon two inches apart on cookie sheet top each muffin top with strussel about one tablespoon okay so that's what this is this is kind of like a little like a little topping feels like a little sugar some kind of sugar yeah there it is strassel topping but yeah we'll put these on top and this is our muffin top mix uh, it looks easy all right y'all y'all about to go on this adventure with me i've never cooked these before ouch let me make that disclaimer i've never cooked these before so yeah y'all gonna see how this turns out let me keep the instructions right there in front of me it says it's supposed to make 16 um muffin tops we'll see about that i'm supposed to come up with 16 so all right y'all let me let me get prepared <clears throat> excuse me let me get prepared a little better let me get everything set up a little better and i'll be back when we're ready to dump all the stuff in i'll be back y'all let's go all right y'all i'm back <clears throat> now remember now this is a brand new mixer it's my first time using it so if it's a hot mess y'all gonna see it's a hot mess with me so <clears throat> I pretty much kind of did a little tester before, you know, I started recording, and, you know, kind of got myself more comfortable with my pink mixer. I mean, come on, pink. She knows me so well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dump. I'm going to go ahead and dump both packs of the mix. Oh, shucks. I knew I was going to make a mess. All right, anyway, let me wipe this off. Okay, so I got the first uh, pack of the the mix in there. Let me go ahead. Hope y'all can see. Okay, y'all can see. All right, and I got them dumping the second pack in there. Oh, I am so excited. All right. I'm so excited. I'm going to be using this mixer for everything, child. I'm going to be using my mixer for everything. All right, so we got our second um bag of our muffin mix <clears throat> muffin top mix in there okay got the oven preheating at 375 
Uh, okay, stir muffin top mix, water, oil, and eggs until blended batter will be thick. Okay, so we got our mix in there. Let's add our one fourth cup of water. Remember, I'm doing two bags, so I will have to do, um, I'm gonna be doing double my ingredients because I've got both bags in there. Ooh, y'all. And it came with a little spatula. Ooh, I'm telling y'all, I'm a professional now. Well, I've been a professional, but y'all know what I mean. Okay, so one fourth cup of water. I gotta do two. One fourth cup of water. Got my first one I'm putting in there. All right, my second. One fourth cup of water. Pouring that in, y'all. Ooh, y'all, I feel like the pioneer woman. <laughs> I feel like the pioneer woman and Contessa and all the other people on the cooking show. Hey, Jita, I like Jita too, so. That's how I feel, y'all. Ooh, I am a professional. I'm a professional, y'all. All right, so we got our water in there. We got our two, one fourth cup of water. Okay, we gotta do one fourth cup of vegetable oil. All right, child, we got, we got our Bartoli cooking oil, child. That's what we got, oil. So, we gotta do one fourth cup, let me make sure. Yep, one fourth cup, I gotta do two of these. Remember, I'm doing two packs, so I gotta do two. All right, so we got one, and let's go ahead and do the second one. All right, I'll put that on that side. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. All right, so we got our oil in there, and let's go ahead, get our two eggs in there. Now, I'm not gonna crack my eggs directly in there. I'm gonna crack my eggs in my little cup over here, because I don't wanna take no risk of cracking no, putting no shells in there. So, I cracked it in my little cup, putting it in there. Okay, let me get my other egg crack. Come on. See, it's exactly why I cracked it over here. Got a little shell in here. Let me get that out. Okay, all right, we're putting our second egg in there. All right, we got our second egg in there, y'all. I'm so happy I got this blender. God is so awesome. God is so awesome. You know what? That is the word of the day that fell in my spirit just now. Y'all know I love to cook. Y'all know, I mean, you know, we women, whoever, we gotta cook anyway, so. Um, I've always loved to cook. I just, in the beginning of my life, I just really didn't know how to cook. But anyway, I say that for another video. But anyway, I love how God, see, this is what God will do. God will make provision for the vision. He will provide you what you need for your vision. Don't be like, oh man, I want to do this, I want to do this, but I ain't got this, I ain't got that. God will provide, honey. He will provide for the vision. Provision for the vision. Telling y'all, God, I'm telling you, God have people just blessing you with all kinds of stuff, just blessing you, blessing you. I'm telling y'all, I'm living with witness. Y'all see my blender? Once again, hey, shout out to my friend Izzy. Thanks, I appreciate you, girl. Appreciate you. All right. So anyway, cause y'all know I ain't got no mixer like this. I just got the little handheld one. But provision for the vision. That is the word of the day. He will make provision for your vision. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm getting all excited, ready to preach. Okay. Oh, y'all. And look y'all, it comes with the little, the little cover. Wait, shucks. Wait, let me lift it. I gotta lift it. Okay y'all, I done learned how to, I told y'all I learned how to use my thing. I gotta get this on. How I'ma get this on when it's already? Shucks, let me just twist my bowl off. I'ma twist my bowl off. I shoulda. Oh Lord y'all. I should have put my guard. No, I couldn't have put my guard on. Okay, let, let's get the guard on, y'all. Either way, we'll get it. All right, it, it, here we go. Okay. All right, let's get our guard on. Y'all know I'm trying to learn. I'm learning to use this thing. Okay, I got my bowl back locked down here, locked in place. Got my top back. Okay, it's back. Now, we put it back down. Hold on, it's getting stuck. Y'all know I'm new to this now. Let me get my... Come on now, you gotta go down, top. My top don't wanna go down. 
Okay, how I do this? There it go. No, but it look like it don't want to go down, down. Maybe I ain't twist my bowl on right. Hold on, y'all. Ooh, Lord have mercy. The devil is a lie. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Okay. No, oh, it's not. It's not coming down. It's not coming down because of this. Okay. All right. Let me just take this bowl back off. Ooh. Okay, y'all. Okay. I'm just not going to put the guard on. I'm just not going to put the guard on. Anyway. All right, child. Let's just. All right. It's, it's back down, it's locked. I'm just gonna cut it on a low volume. Y'all know I ain't editing that out. Y'all know your girl, she gonna keep it real. I'm still learning. Now it does have suctions at the bottom so that it doesn't move, so. I'm just taking y'all down in there so y'all can see. All right, so I'm gonna cut it on a low one. Okay guys, we are back. I've got the batter mix all mixed up. And as you guys can see in there, it is looking delicious. Take y'all in. Don't forget, this is the chocolate chip mix. So, let me bring y'all back out. I've got all four of my cookie sheets ready to go. My cookie sheets are ready. Yes, ready. I'm ready. So let me go ahead. Y'all gonna see me getting these panned up. Chocolate chip. Y'all know I love me some chocolate. So, and I'm gonna use my little one inch, whatever y'all, ice cream scoop, one inch. Yeah, I think that's what this is. I'm gonna be using that to get my batter out. Just doing one scoop. Gonna drop it on there. Muffin top. It kind of looks like a, a cookie mix to me. Just looks like chocolate chip cookie mix to me. Honestly, y'all, that's what it looks like. Chocolate chip mix. Chocolate chip cookie dough mix. And see, I like using my little uh, scooper. So I know they're all about the same size. I think I made that one a little, a little extra big, but... Make sure I make them all about the same size. They look like they're gonna be cute too. So y'all see, I'ma trade this up. Let y'all see me trade this up. All right. See if I can squeeze another one in there. Cause that one gonna kind of be big right there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, that looking good. That's looking good. And I'm supposed to take some of the little, you know, like the little uh, strussel they call it and sprinkle it across the top. So I'm gonna use my hand and just drop some on the top there. Do a little extra on this one. But they look like they, like I said, little chocolate chip cookies, but we'll see how they come out. Muffin top. All right, y'all, we got one tray did up. I'm gonna do this second tray. Let me give y'all a close look. See, I mean, it just looks like cookie dough batter. I mean, you know, I don't know how they gonna cook up. Muffin top, so we are gonna see. If they muffin top. Come on off batter. Okay. Let y'all see me do this second tray. I wonder if they're gonna be like muffins, like chocolate chip muffins. I don't know y'all. We gonna see together. We gonna see together. 
it's a lot with the, with me doing these two boxes it's gonna be a lot i can cook a lot of these okay almost finished looks good and it smells all just smells like chocolate chip cookie mix. I don't know how many times I got to say that, but that's, I don't know. Y'all, we got to see. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm doing this last one. It's thick now. This mix is thick. So, go ahead and drop, drop, drop. Drop the little strussel, they call it, across the top. Drop that, drop, 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 drop that. And the last one, we're gonna drop that. Okay. All right, y'all. We got them all dead. I got my oven preheated. Let me go ahead and get them in. And the next thing y'all will be see, y'all, y'all will be see. The next thing y'all will see is me pulling them out the oven. Let's see how they turn out, y'all. All right, guys. As you can see, I've been baking them up. I'm like, okay, it's time for me to check in with the people. Y'all see over there, I got some. Those are my first couple trays. I've got a tray back there, cooling down. And this is my other tray. I just pulled out the oven. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me give y'all a... And of course, y'all know, we've already been eating some. They taste like chocolate chip cookies. They really do. Like a light, fluffy chocolate chip cookie. That's Honestly, that's what it tastes like. Chocolate chip muffin. Yeah, a chocolate chip muffin. Let me give y'all a real close up. You can see the little strussel sprinkle across the top. Let me get y'all in some good light. Ah, there it is. So y'all get a real good look how cute they are. They are cute. They really are. But they turned out really nice. And this pan is hot, so I want to be careful. I just wanted to give y'all a close up of how they look and how they turned out. They are too cute, too cute. Let me see if I can, the ones over here already cooled off, so let me make sure I pick out a real pretty one. Well, they all shape the same, so let me give y'all a real close look at them. They so cute and they do look just like the box, the ones on the box. Bring it in real close for y'all. Isn't that cute, y'all? Let me show y'all the other side. I made sure I cooked it for 13 minutes, like the instruction said. 13 minutes. Let me show y'all from the side. Like a little, it is like a little cute little muffin top. Like a little muffin top, y'all. They are really cute. They taste really good. Like I said, it tastes like a chocolate chip muffin, a light chocolate chip cookie. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and finish cooking up the rest, but... It's quick and easy. Y'all seen me do it. Kind of struggle with my new mixer a little bit, but that's all right. That's all right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.